cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of premature death. But tonight I thought instead of sharing with you the statistics, I want to introduce you to two people who have been affected by this disease. At the age of just eight weeks, Georgia was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of cancer. For her, the treatment that saved her very life has actually given her accelerated cardiovascular disease. And this is Sebastian. He had a virus that affected his heart. His heart was so weak that what you actually see here is not his bag. It's actually a pump that's inserted into his heart to keep it going and keep him alive. As you can see, cardiovascular disease is a combination of different diseases, all related to the heart and the blood vessels. My research team works with doctors and engineers and imaging specialists to try to understand how we can image these and get the most clear idea of how to look at the health of the blood vessels and the heart. And with these techniques, we have identified that there is one single therapy that can be used for the prevention, the management, and the recovery of cardiovascular disease. This is exercise. The benefits on your health for exercise are so compelling that we actually say exercise is medicine. But as with any medicine, we need to understand how to prescribe it so that people can get the most benefits. So by looking at how exercise and different types of exercise affects both the heart and blood vessels, we are able to prescribe to people the right dose, intensity and type of exercise. But if you don't believe me, here is the impact of our research. So you remember Georgia? Here she is at the age of 21, a participant in one of our research projects which established that exercise is not just beneficial for increasing their mental health, but survivors of childhood cancer get direct benefits to their blood vessels, which stops the progression of their cardiovascular disease. And Sebastian, up until recently, someone with a failing heart was not given exercise under the belief that it would be too much for their already failing heart. But our research has been able to show that there is a safe way that we can prescribe exercise so that he too can get the benefits. Fortunately for Sebastian, our research has worked and he's had the benefits and his heart has improved. Not just improved, it's actually fully recovered and the pump that was once there keeping him alive has been removed. And you can see him here a couple of months after the removal of that pump. But it's not just these two. More than half of the deaths associated with cardiovascular disease can be prevented. It is the aim of my research that we can find how we can best prescribe the medicine for both the prevention and uh, management of cardiovascular disease, and that is exercise, your medicine. <laughs>